Alrighty, Captain. So what we've got here is a simple uh, slit scan sort of look. So let's put the clean overlay fader all the way up. Uh, this is what the effect looks like. Uh, but we bring it in. We have the ability to control the width, at which point the slit scan effect would start. Can get all the way right into the middle. So let's give it a bit more out. Let's make it 2.3. Uh, then we've got the height, so we can actually bring it in. Actually scan it manually up and down if you wanted to do some sort of masking like that. We have the ability to control the speed, so how fast it's actually moving outwards. Uh, we've got a bit of a blur as well, so if you want to make it look a little more blurred when it's going outwards, away from more of an ethereal sort of look. So uh, how is this built? So what we've got, and if we zoom in over here, we have at the moment just one of my other videos uh, taking in control of the video in. This is a texture in that would run into a hub. Uh, we have also a clean overlay float in. Uh, two more float ins here for a region width and a region height, a float for speed, and a float for blur. So we've broken this up into three regions. So if we take the center, sorry, clean feed here at the moment. Uh, what this does is basically just create the center section here, so the clean section. So if I was to make that all the way wide again, this mask, if I show you here, that mask, oh, region width, it's just this section in here. So that's what that accurate area looks like. Um, so basically grabbing just a white rectangle and making it bigger and smaller. So these ones here, we're actually going and making, say, the right side. We're starting with a very thin rectangle. And when we make the regions wider and smaller, it actually moves in and out. Now we're using this uh, transform here as to run as a mask. So we're grabbing the original feed in. So here, our hub acting as a null. It's grabbing that mask. We are then running a slight blur on it, which is that blur control running into a video mixer, but that video mixer is being dragged back into itself to create a delay. And in the middle of this delay, we actually have a transform, which is going slightly to the right. So this is two units to the right. Now, the way we've done this is we're taking in our speed parameter here. So if I crank the speed all the way up to 16, you'll see that is 16 um, to the right. If I crank that all the way down, you'll see it's here and you'll see it again over in the preview. So we're using a float to control a pack, grabbing the X position, feeding it into a transform, and that is inside of a feedback loop. So if we were to stretch that out, you would see it goes from the out of the video mixer into a delay, into a transform, and then back into the video mixer feeding back on itself. Uh, and the exact same thing is done on the other side, except for we are taking the rectangle as a mask but we are using a multiply in negative one to, instead of moving this mask to the right, we move it to the left as we increment. Again, same thing here with the delay. Uh, then what we're doing up the top here is we are basically mixing both the left and the right sides together. We are then taking the clean feed center and fi mixing that on top. And then what I've got here is a third video mixer, which is this clean overlay which allows me to fade it to the full side or just bring it in the full effect. And that just runs through a texture out. We have this set here to be a category effect so we can actually grab the texture in. So if I'm going to unhook the video that's currently playing, we'd grab a texture in. And just for example here, let's just say, let's grab the test card and we'll go to the texture out. And you can see that it is just slowly starting to feed outwards. You can probably ramp that a bit higher. But yeah, so that is how we can create a slit scan sort of effect inside of wire. Again, let's go from the top. We have our input texture in. We have a clean center, which is going to be as wide as we need to do for our masking. We have our right side and left side, which feed into a feedback loop, which is slightly offset and transformed, so it spreads outwards. And then we're blending those two together, left and right side, and then the clean overlay on top. And then our finally our clean overlay there. And it's going out. So I hope this was useful and I uh, hope everyone's having an awesome day. Cheers.